All right, my friends, today we have the privilege of hearing from Santa. You might know him better as Santa Papa John. And today we're going to talk about rebranding. And we're also going to talk about how networking plays into a Santa approved business and how adding new features to your business can be a win, 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 win for all of us. Let's get uh, Santa Papa John up on the screen right now so all of you can see him. I'm sure everybody knows what Santa looks like. We are excited to hear from you again, my friend, because I know networking has been a huge part for you. Ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only Santa Papa John. I know, Merry Christmas and ho, ho, ho. Absolutely. Ho, ho, ho. And yes, it is real. It's been there for about 14 years. I can't disguise it, so I got to utilize it. So where do we want to start with first? Well, as Kathy said, rebranding. There, there's never rebranding. There's just adding on to your services. And how you brand those new additional services, they should be a highlight from your existing business. And that's what I've done with my creative stories. That came about in a network marketing meeting because we were talking about, hmm, how do we build up our social media platforms? And my social media platforms are growing quite reasonable. I'm pretty proud of them. But, you know, I, I started looking at my YouTube channel and I'm going, well, I've got to chase Kathy here. She's almost at that 1,000. So all you people on here, if you haven't liked her page yet and followed her on YouTube, she's about this close to hitting 1,000. And she would get, she's going to buy everybody a cup of tea when she buys, when she hits 1,000 that's on this yeah. post. So <laughs> I didn't say a beer at least anyway. <laughs> So I started talking to a few people and they said, well, why don't you look at some different ideas on what you're doing on what Santa could promote? And someone said, why don't you start reading stories? Santa always reads stories to children when he does his home visits. And I'm going, what an awesome idea. And, and then how do we create these stories? Well, he showed me a different way to create some of these stories. So they're original stories, but I'm also teaming up with a few authors. Now that I'm starting to read these stories, I'm getting introduced to different authors. So isn't that a, a coincidence, but you know, folks reading stories. And then someone said, well, how are you going to monetize this? What, what special feature are you going to add to a regular story that you're reading to all the children. And someone said, personalize the stories to include a family's children's name in that story. So can you imagine Santa reading a story to your family and all the children's names are included in that story? That's pretty awesome. So I'm taking a very special idea and making it and creating in an amazing, wonderful, happy, joyful memory for a family to cherish for a long time that they can be proud to share with their family members. Santa, one thing I'd love to know is how have you incorporated networking into your business practice? You know... Thanks to you, my, my um, YouTube channel and uh, my LinkedIn channel have grown tremendously, and I'm very proud to say that. But networking, as I have learned, not only from you, but from many wonderful people on this site, the more you show up, the more people are going to recognize you, they're going to recognize your voice, they're going to recognize your story. You know, if you show up this week and then you miss two weeks and then you show up or two weeks and you miss three weeks, people are going to go, what's the case? Why, why is he not being consistent? And we all know the rabbit runs a great race, but the turtle runs a slow, consistent pace every time he's there so that people recognize you, they see you, and they want to work with you because you've built up that 
no like and trust with the other people you're networking with. Fantastic. And that's a very good point. My friends, please think about your rebranding conversation. Okay. Santa Papa John started out being a Santa approved business promoter, and he was happy to do YouTube videos as hopefully you've seen from his channel. But now guess what? Stories time with Santa, really? And the rest is history, as they say. So congratulations on your success. Do you have any questions for Santa Papa John about rebranding, where to go for networking, certainly the YouTube channel, and how did all of these topics come to wrap themselves up in one Santa approved business conversation? Anybody have questions for Santa? And let's try and stay on the nice list. <laughs> Don't be shy. Well, seeing as I'm on the naughty list anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. Go ahead. <laughs> How much do does it all cost, Santa? Well, it all depends on which services you're looking for. The stories, the custom created stories are going for $100 each. They're going to be a minimum of 10 minutes long, each of them. So being Santa approved, I've got two different packages, one for 25 and one for 50. And then if you're corporate, we'll have a discussion with that. But most of my videos are between, you know, 40 and 60 and $80, depending on how much detail, how much time, and how much effort it goes into putting in these videos. Terrific. Thank you very much for that. Excellent. Great question. Patricia? Um, since you are Santa, um, is it? do you have more business like during Christmas time? How does it work? Well, I've created some unique marketing ideas so that I can market year round. I mean, Happy birthday videos. People have happy birthdays all year round. Uh, Santa check-ins can be year round. These stories, I don't have to say a story about Christmas time. I can create other stories as well. So, you know, whether you're a daycare, whether you're, you know, uh, you want a story for your grandchildren, I can create different stories depending on different topics. So yes, I am busy, uh, going to be getting crazy busy here in the next four months, but I also uh, do stuff year round to create the atmosphere that Santa can help promote happiness and positivity and joyfulness around the year That's round. That's fantastic. Absolutely. And think about Thank Christmas you. in July. Has anybody ever heard of Christmas in July? Some people have more vendor shows. Some people have different events happening in Christmas in July, because quite frankly, obviously November, December gets super busy. And personally, for any of you who actually go to Halloween costume type parties, one of the coolest uh, costumes literally in my network has always been a Santa suit. So please consider that if you haven't already, because Santa shows up at a Halloween party or a costume party or whatever you choose to call it in October, perhaps, it gets everybody thinking about that magical time that we call Christmas. So thank you so much, Santa. Before we say goodbye to Santa, anyone else have any questions or comments about rebranding? Santa goes everywhere for networking, by the way. So if you want a whole list of all his dynamic locations and how he's gotten to be a podcast guest on so many shows, be sure and connect with Santa Papa John. Anybody? All right, while everybody's on camera or almost everybody, Mark, if you're available, that would be terrific. Let's take a picture of your pretty faces and we can all say that we got to talk to Santa Claus today. Ready, Indeed. set, go. Back to you, Joe. Thank you, Santa. Thank you, Kathy. And thank you, everybody. I appreciate it. Thank you, Santa. And I really love that idea about having Santa check-ins. That's a really good idea. <laughs> Absolutely. Ben, ben Rusk, we've just noticed that you've snuck in. Um, I did. <laughs> so, welcome. Welcome. Have you been to business at breakfast before? I have one time. But one I wanted time? to come back. I missed last week, but I was just jumping off another Zoom and I got in here before you guys shut down. Yes. <laughs> so to that, would you like to do your 30 second elevator pitch? Sure. Hi, everybody. I'm Ben Rusk. Um, I'm here to help families protect their wealth. Everybody's got auto insurance, homeowners insurance, life insurance, but where's your wealth insurance? You know, we need to start storing our wealth in gold and silver. 
because it's the only way we're going to survive the banking industry, the uh, stock market crash, all these things, you know, the grid goes down, you can't get to your crypto, but it's really nice to know that if you need it, you can still hold gold and silver in your hands and it has value. So if you're looking for gold and silver or looking for ways to protect your wealth, uh, give me a shout. We got many 